everyone, welcome to a fingernail fixer video. This video is how to use the Dazzle Dry cuticle remover. Just want to put a small amount of the cuticle remover on each nail. To keep the video short, we're just going to use on one nail. If it's the first time that you're using the remover on this client or yourself, you're going to apply the remover to the entire nail. While that's hanging out on that nail, let's run through a little bit of anatomy because you should know what's what before you are removing it. Cuticle is actually a transparent tissue that grows out with the nail plate as it grows. So the cuticle is actually something that is out here on the nail plate that you can't see until it gets roughed up a little bit. See it coming up there? Those little bits and pieces. This is why when you go to lay your polish down, it kind of looks like there are little bits of sand or sugar or something in the polish because the cuticle has been disturbed. This bit of skin back here that we oftentimes call cuticle is actually a keratinized proximal nail fold. That sounds really fancy because it's actually medical terminology. So this is something we do not want to trim. We do not want to let someone else trim. And if you are working in a salon, you do not want to let the client bully you into trimming. So that is actually living tissue, and to trim that would be considered performing surgery, which is outside of your scope of practice if you are licensed and could cost you your license if a client would develop an infection and come back to sue. So you wanna make sure that you're leaving that keratinized proximal nail fold intact. Do not push any tools beyond that because that's how infections happen. And if you do go somewhere, or if you do shove your tool back in there, if you're doing your own nails, and you get that red, swollen, sore, it can be from some bacteria getting back in there. So we wanna make sure and leave that seal and that skin intact. Once you've applied that cuticle remover to all 10 nails, if it's the first time application, you would start your pusher at the end of the nail and work your way back to pick up all of the cuticle from the entire nail plate that has grown out with the nail. And I'm going in slow motion so that you can see the tool gently lift and separate the cuticle. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. You just wanna hold the pusher at about a 45 degree angle so that it gently lifts and separates. If you find a 45 degree angle isn't gently catching the cuticle, kind of play with the angle of your pusher a little bit. Different brands may require slightly different angles. Once you've pushed the cuticle up to that proximal nail fold, go in a circular motion to separate that off and use a curette or other similar meticulous tool for the finishing. I prefer a curette. It's like a little power tool that gets in the corners and the sides and just removes that last little bit of hidden cuticle that clings to the corners and the sides and really cleans it up nice and neat so that I can get a nice close polish application that looks beautiful. Use that curette in a circular motion. Make sure you have the cup face of that curette flat to the nail so that you're not scratching the nail. If you're getting scratches in the nail from your curette, you're not using your curette flat to the nail. Make sure it's flat to the nail and that you feel it catching on the cuticle, not scratching. 
Once you've finished your cuticle work on all 10 nails, remember this was slow motion. So normal salon speed would be go up the nail, cross in circles, work your way across with the curette, come back and make sure you didn't miss anything, and move on to the next nail. Once you've done all 10, you'll want to come back in and rinse all of the nails with water. If you have a sink right by your table, you could use a sink and scrub the nails with water. If you're using a curette, I strongly suggest cleaning out the curette right when you do the nails so that the cuticle doesn't dry and harden inside of your curette. That way, when you wash your tools with soap and water before you put them in the disinfectant, you don't have hardened cuticle in there that makes it a lot harder to clean with the soap and water before you disinfect. I hope this video with the Dazzle Dry cuticle remover was what you needed to be for it to be helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, any tools and product information will be in the caption. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.